going to do the basics of Industrial Craft. Industrial Craft is actually one of the oldest uh, mods out there, I believe. It's one of the first major mods that kind of existed. Basics. Tox has not had a chance to get some uh, basic automation as of yet. You and can actually do certain perks like ore doubling. Get more out of your ore. Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it, Tox? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> first, when so, it comes to Industrial Craft, the most important thing is rubber trees. You now, for the Industrial Craft guys here with the dark wood, I'm going to go ahead and strip the leaves off first. When you tap a, uh, a little rubber thing, oh man, I'm punching holes in everything, I apologize. <laughs> so, the, the machinery we're going to be making today, it's kind of a baseline, is going to be, uh, first and foremost, a generator. It's going to be a coal fire generator. This is going to uh -oh. be... Uh-oh. You know what I think? I think we just got Greg teched. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, iron refined, we got some... Uh, Iron furnaces built, as you can see right here. Now, again, they're just like regular furnaces, but they're a little more efficient, so they're nice to have if uh, you need to get some things cooked. So we're going to go ahead and build our generators here. So the generator is going to be the iron furnace bottom middle. We're going to put a line of refined iron right across the middle of it, and then we're going to put the RE battery right on top. And that's going to give us our generator. So there we go. I'm falling behind here. Warp, just give me a second. Okay, so iron furnace on the bottom. Bottom middle on the slot 8. Then you're going to have refined iron across the middle. It's going to be 4, 5, and 6. And then the RE battery is going to be at slot 2 at the top. And that's going to give us our generator. I see a generator, which Perfect. looks a lot like an iron furnace. All right. Yes, it does in a lot of ways. And it kind of does the same thing. So now we're going to go ahead and put our generators down. We're just going to... For the sake of simplicity, we're going to start in one, one corner here, and we're going to build ourselves over. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine right there. You can put yours right next to that if you'd like. Ta-da! There it is. Now, remember that wonderful uh, copper cable we had? Uh, this. Yep. So copper cables are going to connect any side of a generator or any other device for that matter. I'm just going to run them out here. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting. Because, again, there's three categories. We've got generation, storage and uh, usage. So we got the generation going. And if you want, you can go ahead and open these guys up and go ahead and throw some coal in the bottom slot here. I'm going to do number two here. There we go. And get them going. Now, Industrial Craft is intelligent in that you'll see there's a little inside buffer they have. Once that buffer fills up, they're going to shut down. They're not going to waste coal. Ah, nice. Unless, if, if they don't need to. Now, if it does fill up, it's going to erase what's left of that one coal burn, unfortunately, but there's a, even ways around that if you want to be ultra efficient. For, for my simplicity, so, so, for, for our purposes here, not a big deal. Now, from this point on, we could just go straight into uh, running building machines and running directly off the uh, generators. That's fine. And for the moment here, that's going to be the easiest solution for us. But we are going to want to put some buffing or battery uh, backup in here. That way, the generator is going to be able to fill a bigger pool. The generators have that yeah. onboard buffer, but with a battery box we're going to get more out of it. And we'll talk about that probably in the next episode. But for now, we want to get onto that wonderful and luscious ore doubling and other efficiencies. So, we're going to get on to the creme de la creme, probably the biggest reason why people actually uh, put use this mod, which is going to be the macerator. Now, the macerator is... Uh, effectively, it means take your, your raw ore blocks that you're mining up uh -huh. and grind them into dust. What's nice about this is when it grinds an ore block into dust, it gives you two dust per ore block, which means two ingots per ore. Nice. Yeah, it's nice to have. So in order to do this, we're going to need a few new, few new items we haven't had yet. One is flint, and the other is cobblestone, which I luckily happen to have right here for us. I have. Do you have some flint too? Yes, I do. Okay. So there's some flint. There's some cobblestone. Now, yeah, unfortunate for us is the fact that we're going to need another new item here. Or a couple of new items, I should say. The first of which is a machine block. Now, a machine block, back in the old days, used to be just a, a square of refined iron with the mill missing out of it. But again, we aren't just playing with industrial craft. No, no. What are we playing with, Tox? Greg. <laughs> God. So with Greg Tech, we're going to need uh, 
to get some refined iron plates. And remember, for every two iron ingots that we have to fire to get refined iron, we get one plate. And we're going to need eight of these bad boys. Oh. And not only are we going to need eight of these things, but we need to be able to put those plates together into a machine block, which means we're going to need something else new. And that new thing is a wrench. Now, a wrench actually is is important on a couple of uh, fronts. First of which is um, a wrench is actually going to help you with picking up certain devices. All the things we've built so far have been... Uh, you can you can take your your pickaxe and pick up these iron furnaces, and I think you can pick up the generators. I could be wrong, but that's not a big deal. And you, you can pop them. But all the other machinery we're building, if you pick them, there's a better than odds chance that you're gonna break them and turn them back into yeah. a machine block. So in order to safely pick up machinery with well with reasonable certainty, we're gonna need to build ourselves a wrench. So for a wrench, we're gonna start off with by building. Some basic gears. Now, gears start off their life as wood gears, which for those you need sticks, which there you go. Now, sticks in a star pattern being two, four, six, and eight will give you your basic wooden gear. Pretty straightforward. Got some uh, crouching leg there for anybody who is wondering why there was a no stick in the left. It was there, it just <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and throw our wooden gear back in to the middle in slot 5 and we're going to immediately upgrade it now gears have multiple tiers they start at wood and then they go up to stone now for stone gears you take that wooden gear and wrap it with uh, cobblestone in the same format we did with the sticks so 2, 4, 6, and 8 and that's going to give us our stone here. gear alright now, there are fire tiers now. There's iron gears, there's silver gears, there's uh, other mods added in other things, there's golden gears, and so on. From here, we're going to put that uh, stone gear back in the middle again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get some... Is it regular iron? Or refined iron? I think it's going to be regular iron. Let's find out here. Uh, regular steel wrench? Oh, we want a steel wrench. Oh, we're, oh, we're actually going to use... <laughs> My apologies, there's like multiple different wrenches out there I've completely forgot about. <laughs> oh my. Here's here's the other thing that kind of becomes a nuisance is that there are different mods with different uh, um, Items build craft, same, industrial craft, and so on. So we're going to do the cheaty thing here. Go ahead and grab your, your uh, refined iron and make a uh, Y yep. out of it. So slots 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and slot 8. That's going to give you a basic oh, iron yeah, okay. wrench. All right. Um, and since you have this open and have a whole bunch of iron, refined iron sitting there, let's go ahead and throw our hammer on top. And since we need eight uh, uh, plates, go ahead and make four of them. I'll make the other four. Okay. So we have four refined iron plates. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you the other four here. You've got your wrench. So yep. now you got to go ahead and put your wrench in the middle slot of your crafting bench okay. and wrap it with all eight of the uh, refined iron plates. Machine block. There you go. Now I'm going to grab the elements from you. Very wild, yeah, Matt, since we got a whole lot run, run around here, we can. You have a golden bag. Oh, and I get to keep the wrench. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a You need to keep the wrench, and those wrenches happen to work really well. They don't uh, break down too easily. Some wrenches do have a durability that will break down over time. Again, it just depends on what you're doing around here. Now, see, so let me go ahead and, you know, master are good to have, and I don't see why we shouldn't go ahead and waste uh, waste our resources on them to have them, because they are good to have. So I'll go ahead and make one more machine block for us. Okay. There we go. So I've got two machine blocks. Come on, wrench. There we go. All right, so now we've got a machine block. Now we need to move on to the next stage here, which is going to be the macerator itself. Now for the macerator, we're going to go ahead and grab flint, cobblestone, machine block, and there's one other guy we've got to make. And holy crap, there's a game more fun than this. We actually have to make an electrical circuit. And this is machinery, and most of the oh, machinery... that's a big one. ...does use... Uh, uh, 
does actually use uh, electronic circuits. Now, this is just a basic circuit. It's not too bad. But if you look up uh, electronic circuit here, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because I can just uh, flip to the uh, basics here. Doop. Electronic yeah, circuit is going to be a refined iron plate. Oh, poop. <laughs> Redstone and some copper cables. You got it. So, do you have any more refined iron on you? I believe I do. That makes Where more of us. Wait, no. Don't you have it? I think I, that might have been some of the stuff you picked I up. I had, me. but I used it for uh, that second block. Aha, uh -huh. two refined iron left. <laughs> oh, man. Do okay, you have any so regular iron point. left? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I just pulled it out of the furnace. Good. Well, let's go ahead and mix some extra refined iron because we're gonna need it. <laughs> sure. This is this is this is the follies and foibles, folks. Uh, when you deal with Greg Tech, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so once once you get the. I don't think the, it was uh, explained yet. Uh, to get refined iron, um, you just smelt regular iron. Yes. And that pops out as refined iron. I apologize for that. Yeah. So refined iron is basically twice fired iron. I'm not really big on it. Personally, I mean, it's, it's kind of quirky because with another mod, uh, Railcraft and other mods like that, you actually take iron and smelt it into steel. So this is kind of a quirky uh, recipe in my opinion. Yeah. So, real fun. So you got a couple of pieces of iron there. Go ahead and uh, take two out and make yourself one more plate. And let's see, do we have any more copper? Because we're going to need a lot more, a lot more copper. Cable you have my hammer. Yeah, I probably do. Yes, I do. There you go. <laughs> That's even spit out of you. Yeah. All right. Do you have any more copper cooking? No. All right, a few more pieces here. Do you have any more copper in general? Wait. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So it's, we're, uh, we're gonna need. Me. Uh, Not anymore. Um. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, Try six. To make it. I believe. I got a bit uh, flustered. Um, yep. We're gonna need. Give me the hammer. So we're gonna need a total of uh, twelve more uh, cables. We need uh, let's see three copper cables to make six. I've got two copper ingots on me, so I need one more. And well, you need a total of three, so we need a total of six copper. Do you have? Let me throw uh, something crap in here. Hammer. Yay, hammer. <laughs> so I got four copper ingots on me. Do you have two more copper ingots it. yourself? I have 57. Oh, perfect. So you're you're all kinds of set up here. And you still yeah. got rubber on you? Uh, yeah, I have two rubber balls and uh, 64 rubber bars. Perfect. So you're all kinds of set here. If you throw some at me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, okay, um, or bars? Doesn't matter. And you there can you mix. Go. You can definitely mix and match with these. You can have yeah. some bars, some uh, uh, some balls, and you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. I think it's not horrible, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Like so that. getting back to the wonderful circuit here. So the circuit's going to be the refined iron plate in the middle. And then we're going to the thing there. Put uh, copper top and bottom. So one, two, three, and then seven, eight, nine. And then some redstone on okay. either end. Most is driving me crazy today, and I don't know why. Uh, redstone <laughs> either end, you said? Redstone either end. That's going to be uh, a cathode nanode, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, is that giving you results? Should. So you have copper cable, cop uh, it's like insulated copper cable, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, right? Or sorry, oh. no, not four, five, six, so seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> I put copper ingots. Ah, gotcha. Yes, it's going to have to be the actual copper cable itself. Whoops. I am one short. Here you go, and here you right, go. Right, that's why we were talking about rubber, I remember now. Yes. <laughs> Move, mouths. Welcome to the yes. learning process, people. <laughs> yeah. So the well, that, that's why I had uh, Warped help me with this, because trying to figure all the all this out on my own it's like where the hell do i start <laughs> <laughs> yeah if, 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 if this tutorial seems kind of rough it's probably because we probably hacked and slashed and edited the crap out of it trying to get some of the boring pieces out <laughs> 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 all right so do you have your circuits sir 
Uh, I do have my circuit. Okay. So with circuit in hand, we're going to go ahead and build our uh, macerators. So we have our circuit on the bottom in slot 8. We have our machine block in the middle, which is going to be slot 6. Go ahead and put co uh, cobblestone on either side of that. And then the top row, 1, 2, and 3, is going to be all uh, flint. Or at least it should be. Ah, that's cool. Been playing this game for two years and I still can't uh, tell the difference between flint and coal. Uh oh. I think we just got Greg ticked again. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Woohoo! Boy, howdy, did we. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Uh oh. Okay, are we looking at the recipe that says automatic macerator? Yes, apparently you, have, apparently you get forced into Greg Tech's uh, automatic restorator, which can then be changed into a regular one. Uh, I'm not even sure what the biggest differences are, but you'll notice the big deal here is instead of just having some flint and calling it good, it's calling for diamonds. Yeah. So we're going to have to grab some diamonds. Do you happen to have diamonds on you? I do not have diamonds on me, but I do have like half a stack at the house. Okay, so... Boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and cut away here. We're going to get the supplies we need, get everything updated and set up, and then we'll come right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So we've gotten over our uh, our Greg teching <laughs> again. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I, I swear to you, I, I do like Greg tech in some ways because there is, there is a certain amount of complexity that is fun. But uh, to be honest with you, after especially going through making the armor that I've got, it's just become... A lot more of a nightmare than I want to deal with. Uh, plus, there's other, there's other, uh, other nightmares I'll talk about some other time. But anyways, so we've got our stuff here. Now, uh, the Masterators do take a... Well, for the recipe we're doing, takes an advanced circuit. So we're going to go ahead and make an advanced circuit. I've already made one, but Tox, you can go ahead and make yours here. I'll go ahead and show you the recipe why we're doing that. Um, again, another little trick of uh, NEI, if you don't already know, is if you hover over any... Uh, anything in your inventory, hit the R button for recipe. It'll pop up and show you what it is. So advanced circuit is simply a regular circuit wrapped around glowstone, uh, lapis, and uh, redstone. So there you go. And now if you've got that, we're going to go ahead and make the macerator. Macerator is going to be a circuit on the bottom middle, machine uh, block right in the middle. And then we're going to wrap that with diamonds left, top, and right. And then finally flint all the way around it. And that's going to give us our new Fancy Dancy Automatic Macerator by Greg Tech. Hooray! Now... And are we going to leave it as that, or are we going to plop it in the square again to make Macerator? Yeah, we're going to just leave it as the advanced. We don't really have to worry about worry our, our little heads about anything. Get this all out right. right here. Now, we're going to plop these down. Now, here is an important thing, Tox. you got to remember. For all the stuff we've made so far, like these little generators and all that, we've been able to just take a pick to them and break them, and it's been fine. These guys here are our first real pieces of machinery and what's real about these is that you can't just go picking them up with a pick you will almost guarantee break them now you can use a wrench however a standard wrench still has about a 20 percent chance of busting the machinery so i do not recommend moving these things unless you absolutely have to there is some ways around this with uh other tools we'll get into probably in the next couple of episodes here but hooray we've got our macerators we've got our generators we've got our wires running everything together now from here, we're going to go ahead and get into using these things. And the reason why we got this as our kind of our first tier thing here is because of the wonderful world of ore doubling. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a few different uh, ones we have here. Now you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in here for you. When we put these guys in, we're going to use one ore, but we're going to get out two dusts. Now this is important because... For each dust you put into the furnace, you get one ingot. So we're effectively ore doubling at this point. This makes things much more efficient, much easier for you. For every piece you pick up, you're getting double out of it, which is really, really nice. So this is a great perk to have. So I'll put those there. We got uh, some ferrous and some lead we can put in. All right, so there we go. So we've got some gold you can, you can add dust. to this list. And these guys, the way the Omac... Uh, Masterator's work is you actually have the uh, <clears throat> do inputs, and it'll kind of systematically go through as an order. Now, there are some buttons down here, as you can see. Um, I try to remember this one on the end here. So the buttons from left to right, uh, the left one is power. This basically is a 
uh, if we had, say, for example, one mass rayer connect to a power line and the other one wasn't, we could actually have it share its power off to the next one. I don't usually deal with that. I don't do that's an old Greg Tech thing, so I don't usually deal with that too much. Uh, the next okay. one is conveyor. And this is actually a convenient little guy because the conveyor will actually push, if available or applicable, its items into an adjacent system. So if we had a macerator right next to, say, a furnace, for example, it could actually push these dust directly into the furnace and then start smelting automatically for you. So it's kind of a simple, without any net, uh, extra pipes or anything, we can actually have it cut, do a processing for us. So we could probably do that later, maybe. We'll see. For now, this works pretty well here. I'll try to remember what the last one is when I get a chance. I always forget <laughs> what this last one is. I apologize. So this is a really great thing. Again, this is this is their, the, the big goal here, was to be able to um, have that ore doubling for you. And this will really help you out when you start getting ramped up here. Because as, as you've seen, everything you build just takes a copious amount of materials to make so you're going to want to have this ore doubling now one other little caveat to not caveat but the perks of these master rays i'm going to show you real quick here i'm going to pop these guys out is uh bones now what's nice about the bones is regularly if you just go ahead and just break them down in a crafting bench or in your little crafting square you get three bone meal however with these wonderful macerators for every one you put in, <gasps> you get, I can't stand the suspense, because I wait for the dang lead to go by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It won't let us. What's it doing? It won't let us. Oh, these automatics have broken it. Well, shuckins. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying if we would have put it in a crafting square again to make... Uh, just but chances are potentially. Have... Chances are potentially. So, long story short, usually I do that. You know, it's okay. We have other ways to make that more efficient. We'll talk about those later. But nevertheless, we do have a nice efficient system now for whoops, for uh, getting things done, so to speak. And as I said uh, before, you can go ahead and just dump all your stuff into these iron furnaces and uh, keep things rolling. Now, that's it for now for the... Uh, uh, for this episode, we are going to be coming back and adding a few more things to this. We've got some plans to add some more automated machinery. We're going to upgrade Tox's iron furnaces and make them even more efficient. <laughs> uh, we're also going to add a couple other, what I would consider to be kind of core basic machines. Uh, they're going to help him be a lot more efficient with other items uh, instead of just the ores and kind of get you going. Once we get those put in place, that'll be pretty much the, the end of the beginner, if you will, uh, segment uh, of the uh, tool or uh, machinery. So we'll get through that. And then after that, we're probably going to be branching into a few other mods as well. There is a lot of other cool stuff out there that is outside of IC. IC is really good for the processing, but if you want to move stuff, Buildcraft is the old giant when it comes to moving stuff so we're going to play with that um as well as start getting into other fun toys uh and uh, other mods because as much as i love ic and love the power system for ic uh there is thermal expansion there is ender io um so there's a lot of other stuff we're going to play with <laughs> and of course <laughs> we'll, we'll also circle back around upgrade these things a little more do some overclocking whatnot as well as um Maybe even dive into Greg Tech later in life. Who knows? But by the time we get to the Greg Tech aspect, talk should be at the same level of line because I haven't done crap for Greg Tech yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a little scared, but I tell you, man, we've got we've got uh, 12 railcraft turbines running our city right now, and they are barely keeping up. And I know for a fact <laughs> that those um, Greg Tech turbines can pump out a hell of a lot more power, but they gulp steam like nobody's business so we're going to see what we can do about uh, facilitating that anyways for now guys as always i do appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us and join us for this wonderful fun stuff and the shenanigans go on and getting greg teched once or twice over uh <laughs> can, can i just ask a uh, question quickly you go us? for it um why does it give you dust rather than just the ignit the macerators yeah because it's a macerator it's beaten it it's it, it's effectively that's, that's pulverizing. The well, it's pulverizing the ores. It literally is taking taking a, a ore chunk and grinding it down into dust. Is there anything else this is useful for, or just the dust itself? There might be something out there that dust can do beyond uh, being uh, melted down. I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to look. Again, if you okay. look up in the eye, the hit the U. Good point. You'll be able to figure out if there's anything else it can be used for. Different dust have different functions, different purposes. Master rays do do a lot of other things in terms of uh, uh, they can uh, turn 
coal into coal dust and things like that. So we'll we'll definitely be tying a lot more into those later. I guarantee it. Fear not. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, guys, we appreciate your time. And as always, if you have any questions, quandaries, and, and uh, thoughts, please feel free to go ahead and uh, post them down below in the comments. And as always, as I said, please do leave yourselves a like if you can. It does help us out. And if you like it, please like it. If you don't like it, uh, hey, more power to you. <laughs> 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 I always want to be snide there, but no. No, I kid. I kid. Um, and as always, please, 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 if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button me and talk certainly do appreciate it and we will sing your praises every time we see it happen or at least something like that i'm not really sure to... <laughs> 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 beyond that peoples uh if you want to have a more avid conversation with us please feel free to go ahead and hit up the bottle rocket gaming uh uh, website at ballrocketgaming.com. That is a good place for you to uh, chat with us, see what we're talking about. That's what we usually do with most of our posting updates uh, and, and whatnot. So we have that website really geared out in kind of a social uh, personality so we can do posts and blogs and all kinds of great stuff there. So I definitely encourage you to check it out. And as I always say, we're always looking for more fun, interesting people. Trying to set up a huge city or multiple cities like this does take a lot of manpower. So having more people who want to come on and help out and have fun, we always encourage it. If you have any interest, please do feel free to go ahead and hit up ballrocketgaming.com slash forums and go ahead and leave a post there. And as I always say, we'll get a chance to follow up with you and find out if you're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for you. As always, I'm Jester. I'm Toxic. And we're the heck out of here. <laughs> yes, we are. Bye! Okay, bye.